I still have the book? I do. Very good. Uh, change page. Right. Bear 39. Bear 39. 32, 33, 34, 35. 37, 38, 39. Bear 34. Rabbit 17. Here. Oh, oh. Right. Fork and weasel. Right. We for forty one. Fifty six. Okay. Silence to spare something is near. Wolf and sheep. So twenty four. Forty one two. Purge infected soon. It was here, wasn't it? 60. Infected soon. Wolf 26. Purge infected soon, only death. Goose 21. 8, 4, 5, 6. Uh, sheep 66. Purge infected soon, only death. Forever silenced. Despair. Purge infected soon, only death. Despair herself is near. Forever silenced. Despair herself is near. Oh. This message, as sinister as the last, sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected. Forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strasbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. Maybe he was involved. But how are they connected? Soon only death. Despair herself is near. And now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Hmm. Let's see if there's anything down here to interact with. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. A large metallic slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. Mm. That shape. Where have I seen it before? The Dean's ring! Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It opens up, doesn't it? Oh, I have to, do I have to press these in the right order. I can't remember what they are. But it is. This one? Wasn't in a circle. I think oh, it wasn't. So. And then you press the button in the middle. It fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. He was involved. What do I do? Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Let's grab the art on the way down. Unscrew. And then unscrew. I need all the four lights to light up again, don't I? Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was... To mess around with it until all the lights come on. Yep. That's what they've taught... what games have taught me. There we go. Ah, okay, so based on... the angle I get. Okay, so that's... well... There we go. If being a great detective didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. Yeah. Very good. Now we switch it, do we? Yep. Yeah. 
Just zap the ring and be done with it. I could have lost an eye. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now. Oh, that's disappointing. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Mm hmm. Back then. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Incorrect code. Of course it is. That would have been too easy. Okay, so we need to find the new code. Please enter authorization. One, two, ah. three. Incorrect code. Of course it is. That would have been too easy. Okay, so we have to find the new code. Okay. Now we can't, we can't get it out. So we get this new set of numbers. There's nothing else to interact with other than the computer at the moment, it looks like. amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny Leclou was a great detective. Indeed. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Or eyes. Uh, last. Standing inside my lap. Caesar. Caesar's fear. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, at least I've got a name. Okay. Remind it laundromat by new underwear. Not quite the identity matrix, okay. Able to harness the power. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. Who are the Council of Three? The Council of Three? Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? Say so. Nigel. Let me just dry up. Okay. Our, another sphere fully operational project appears to, continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property. Each result further supporting my theories, the town is special. That said, I find my time largely spent moving between laboratories. I want to get my hands dirty. Oh, the ironic ferris wheel. Ugh. Love it. It's great no one has met them. Who are they? Are they avoiding me? Sort of wonder if they even exist. Ask Mr. Gray again for face to face. With the management, are they avoiding me? New lab idea. Toying with designs for a new and much more ambitious, larger facility. If my calculations are correct, should be able to ca should be capable of up to 1,200% output capacity. This could propel us to a whole new world of possibility. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? Mm. <laughs> the knots and crosses. Terrible spectacle. Spotted an anomaly in the badger experiment. Too late. Oh, that's this one. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue showed up just in time to witness explosion. Plasma everywhere. All units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Locking forward to debriefing. This is going to set us back weeks. Days blurring together. Every experiment brings us closer to unlocking the seemingly impossible. But the number of strange incidents at the labs continues to grow. He keeps stealing my pens. Um, exhaustion plus rush get equals dangerous conditions. Exhaustion. Rushed schedule. Dangerous conditions. That's like the labs that her dad was working in. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. Why did they insist we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols, pro protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contaminations or accidents. I'm starting to think they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home again last night. 
Who are they? Council of Three. Knowledge, ignorance, progress, corruption, order, self-destruction. Been sleeping in the lab, nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What am I really trying to accomplish? I must believe that our personal sacrifices are worthwhile. Serve a greater purpose. I was so naive. All my fault. I was so naive. All dead. All my fault. Can't get the face out of my mind. The screams, the darkness, the hole will never be filled. All dead. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of a past tragedy. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. What did he do? It must have been terrible. What a bittersweet feeling after seven years we're finally getting stable, repeatable results, but the cost has been great. The output ratio is incredible, but we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. The new lab is nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push it too far, but full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends for what happened. Safety is top priority. People are more important than progress. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all Tangled Mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. Mm. But she now knew the purpose of this Caesar Sphere, and the name of the people who had built it. The Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Yes. So we've got everything, but we haven't actually got the code. Oops. Wrong button. Are there still something to do? Well, let me leave. So we got to here. Oh, hello. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Nigel, please stop writing the code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately. Okay. okay, so now we know the code. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, zero, two, eight. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. This sounds completely sensible to switch this on properly. Preparing to run experiment 12. Cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging. Accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 12-91. Sounds safe. That's called Burton, and Susie's machine that looks like that's called Tim. creepy at all. Okay, so now we go that way. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. Decompressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Very good. Get that break. Although we don't smoke. I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. Very good. But yeah, I would assume if the ring is con connects up to here, and that was the Strasbury family ring, then logically the Strasburys must be connected to this. Maybe they were originally one of the Council of Three? I don't know. Now, of course I don't know, I've not played this before. Well, hopefully we'll find out, I should assume we will. So let's run back here. And then we'll go up because we. Jenny, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery, but Susie might have vital information. 
Let's grab the lab equipment. Where did you really get the parts to build your machines? I told you, there's a warehouse full of them at my father's factory. And that's the only place you've seen equipment like that? Well, yeah. Where else would I have seen it? Trust Susie. Did the Glatz Corporation ever build underground labs? No, I don't think so. Why would they? To hide them? From who? Good question. I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. Aw, oh, Susie. Um... I... yeah. That's what I was thinking, is it seemed to be that there would be a connection with the Glatz Foundation group. Whatever the word is. Are we looking for the biggest cross now? Is that what we're doing? I can't remember what we're meant to be doing. Right, journal. Uh, through the crumbling arches, wooden gates. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah let's, let's, put, let's put a sword in. Let's decorate with a sword. Add. The sword. Where's the sword? Oh, I have to change page. Oh, maybe I've missed some. <gasps> there we go. Just to remind us. Oh, oh, arches, arches. Beyond the fallen angel, this is it. The entrance must be through here. Oh, that's the fallen angel. Okay, I knew. Thought I thought it'd be falling over. Fallen over in a literal sense, rather than, you know, a fallen angel. Oh, oh hello. Another coded message in another hidden laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to the Dean's murder? Ooh, well, we'll find out. These must be the arches. Wooden gates. Through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. This must be it! Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. <laughs> hmm. Oh, come on. There's a million crosses in there. Jenny, where are you? It's getting really creepy out here. I'm in the old part of the graveyard. Oh, no! Every kid in Arthurton knew the graveyard was haunted. Is it going to be the CJ? Ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night. Is it going to be CJ? Waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mines. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after curfew with some boys. <gasps> and they were attacked by a ghost. They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. They swore to me, Jenny. They wouldn't lie. I don't believe in ghosts. And the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. Well, we have to find the biggest cross. It might have been her imagination, but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll uh, use Mom's flashlight. You know, ju just in case. 